I'm old enough to remember when fishing lures used to not be, well, very good. The hooks were dull, the finishes were boring, not very good, the attention to detail just wasn't there. All of that has changed, and a prime example is Acme. Acme used to make trout lures like the Phoebe and the Castmaster. They're probably still making them, but they were a very generic, just kind of a bland lure company. All of that has changed. They're making amazing lures now, and this hyper rattle, which we're going to demonstrate today underwater in my tank over there, this thing is amazing. The attention to detail on this bait, I'm so excited to show it to you. Wait till you see this thing. Let's get loaded. All right, first up is the one and a half inch Acme Hyper Rattle. And this is a fire tiger color. Well, the first thing you notice is just, uh, well, it's got that tail, just like all jigging minnows. It's got that V, inverted V shaped tail, gives it a ton of action. And this bait is just, I mean, look at that face. It's got uh, a very mean face. That seems to be kind of a, a trend in lures to have eyes that are not uh, happy, angry eyes, let's put it that way. Spro uh, is one of the tackle manufacturers doing a lot of their baits like that. And I just look at that, look at that head. It's just a well, well designed lure. Very sharp hooks on this bait. Uh, you'll notice that there are two places that you can attach the line. You'll notice too that I'm uh, using a quick snap, just a, a very easy snap that allows you to change baits quickly. And it's really ideal for this kind of a lure. If you want to change up, you want to move to the back setting. Right now I'm using the front setting uh, to attach the lure. We'll try the back setting here in a second. But we're just going to work this, see how well it rocks. Rocks well. And what's unique about this particular uh, bait is that it's got an echo chamber uh, built into it with one single tungsten rattle. So uh, it's going to make some noise down there. It's kind of strange on these baits they go by uh, grams as far as the weight so this is a 10 gram bait and it's pretty heavy for a one and a half inch lure. So we'll just do some rocking. But yeah, this is this is a very, very cool lure. And we'll just do some more subtle pops here. And just an FYI, I'm using six pound fluorocarbon line. Now coming up wide, and we'll be able to see now how far this bait can swing out. And the first thing I'm noticing is this bait is not as aggressive as other jigging minnows that we've tested. It's much heavier, and I think that has a lot to do with it. This is going to be a bait that's going to be great for really bouncing and making a lot of ruckus on the bottom. Highly erratic because it's heavier. Even for a smaller bait like this, one and a half inches, it's still much heavier than comparable jiggy minnows uh, this size. Now we'll really speed it up. And that definitely kicks it out more with more aggressive pops. And when you're popping a bait like this, make sure you let it fall on slack line. The action of this bait is erratic, so you need to do everything in your power to make it more erratic. And how you do that is with aggressive pops of your rod tip and a slack line going down. Right now I've got this on the back line tie, and you can see the nose is sitting down. So whereas before it was more level. And we'll just start doing pops of the rod tip here. It's coming out pretty good. 
Do you guys see a difference? And you know, this bait can be worked in open water as well. It's a great open water bait. So these different uh, ways to tie onto the bait, whether forward or back, that's gonna affect the action in open water as well. And it might even be uh, a bigger deal in open water than ice fishing, you know, than a vertical presentation like this. But do you guys see a difference? Like it might not be kicking out as much. And we'll increase the action. Still quite erratic. All right, here's the two inch hyper rattle, also in Fire Tiger. This bait is 17 grams, so it's pretty darn heavy. And you'll notice there's only one line uh, tie here. There's not multiple line ties. So um, I don't know why this you know, two inch model doesn't have more line ties. The one and a half inch model does, and the two and a half inch model does. So it's kind of strange, but we'll just rock it a little bit here. It's back and forth, it rocks really well heater totters, however you want to call it. Good way to entice some fish into biting, especially if you have a piece of a minnow head on that treble hook. So you just rock it back and forth. It rocks really, really well. And there is a rattle. There's a single rattle in these hyper rattles. So that rocking, that rattle is going to make some noise doing that. So that's good. And we'll pick up the pace a little bit here. It's kind of a galloping presentation. Great looking bait though. Just love these things. Acme has just really stepped up their game lately. They used to be kind of a generic, kind of, I don't know, kind of a bland lure company. But they're not that anymore, that's for sure. All right, we're coming out wide now, and we'll just kind of pick up the cadence here a little bit. Not too crazy yet. But this bait, it definitely doesn't swing out as much as other jigging minnows I've noticed. It's a much more kind of a, well, it's a heavy bait, right? So it's not swinging out as much. It's more of a just a drop, a real fast fall. But not as much swinging out. We'll really pick it up. And it's just, it's, it's interesting. It's not crazy erratic as opposed to other jigging minnow style baits. It's a little bit more predictable. So if you're, you know, you're targeting fish that are a little bit more negative, this might be a good option. Don't want things too crazy. Fish can be super moody, obviously. So it's good to have a good arsenal of offerings to, to drop down to them. All right, this is the two and a half inch hyper rattle. 
again in Fire Tiger. This is a heavy bait right here. This is 28 grams. Just look at how cool this bait is. The line tie is metal, and then where the hook is attached is also metal. In fact, I believe that's the same uh, piece of metal. And the hook is actually kind of free on that. I will call it a metal fin. It looks like a fin there. Very, very cool design. We'll just kind of rock it here a little bit, back and forth. It rocks really, really well. And again, this is on the this is on the front line tie. We'll go to the back here shortly. And that works really, really well just for rocking it back and forth, trying to tempt a fish into biting. Pick it up a little bit here. Very heavy bait though. For a two and a half inch bait, this thing is quite heavy. All right, coming out wide now. And pretty darn erratic. That heavier bait, it's just, it's interesting how it just kind of careens nose first everywhere it goes, almost like a missile. Pretty darn erratic on this front setting, on the front line tie here. Doing a few different types of presentations here. And then we'll pick it up. Really trying to get those fish called in. And this thing just searches all over the place. And you could really pound the bottom with this. It's really heavy. It's really going to make a commotion down there, kicking up all kinds of mud. All right, that snap now is on the back line tie. And you can see that nose is tilted down. It just kind of follows that nose down more. It's not, I don't think it's, I don't think it's nearly as aggressive. much more subtle on that back setting. It's behaving more like a jig. You can just see right there. It's just going up and down more. Not nearly as erratic, I don't think. Okay, we'll pick up the pace. Not nearly as erratic on that back setting. Much more subdued. I think that's pretty evident now. This is a pretty aggressive snapping of the rod tip. And you can see it's just much more, I mean, it will get going here a little bit more, it's, but it's not it's definitely not as erratic, definitely much more subdued. Is that not a super cool lure and a super cool company? Acme is just knocking it out of the park with their baits. Hope you enjoyed the video today. I enjoyed making it. I will see you next week. Take care.